call to order the Independent City Council meeting on uh, Tuesday, December 26, 2017, at 7.30 in the morning. September, not December. September. Oh, I'm sorry. I, it was an ember. It's September. Thank you. I'll uh, let the record show that everybody's here. Are there any visitor comments this morning? No one going to the microphone. Um, folks, I'm going to add uh, an item in their... Uh, an appointment for a planning commission member. Uh, you have it in front of you, uh, Esmeralda. I've had a chance to visit with her. And I recommend <coughs> that you be appointed to the planning commission. We have a vacancy. I move to appoint Esmeralda Amaskua to the planning commission. Second. I have a motion to second. Is there discussion? Hearing no discussion, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed? No. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, we have minutes from September 12th in front of you for the, the City Council meeting. Are they okay with you? City Council meeting? Move to approve the minutes. Second. Have a motion second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed. Motion carries. Thank you very much. We would go too far. I just really want to thank council members for uh, uh, coming in today, uh, trying to get all the people we needed to, to be here today. Uh, and I appreciate your willingness to. Uh, to juggle schedule. Uh, Mr. Uh, Irvine, you have something for us. Good morning. Good morning, Council Mayor. Um, as you saw your packets, um, I've uh, got for you a request for resolution authorizing a technical assistance grant application to the Park and Lake Conservation and Development. Um, this has been kind of a, it's basically a looking forward, you know, what are we going to do, what's, what's coming up next? Uh, and really, we'd like to take a closer look at uh, the industrial area in general, but in particular around the, around the airport and really in particular the other property on the west side of the airport. Um, there's a lot of, I think, opportunity there as far as uh, aviation-related clustering and other uh, kind of related industries, but we really need to do some more, more thorough analysis of what kinds of industries might work there. Um, I'd really like to engage with the air park on that conversation as well because I think they can both be a source of good information and potentially as uh, sort of, kind of ambassadors going out to those targeted industries. Um, but really the other thing we need to look at in particular with the Gavin property is um, there's just some issues with um, wetlands, with utilities, with getting that site ready, ready to develop. Uh, and, and it just needs a more detailed analysis than what we've been able to do so that's. That's what I'd be requesting with this grant uh, to the Department of Land Conservation and Development for um, the, I'm still frankly zeroing in the scope because this is something that came up fairly quickly as due uh, in October, but uh, I would not be, I, I would only be, I'd be offering match uh, plus staff time for the city. I am approaching the Department of Aviation um, to see if they can put some money in uh, to the pot for this. Uh, obviously they have interest. They're also carrying up a, um, uh, master plan process for the airport itself. Uh, so the timing is very good on this as well. Um, I think that's kind of the five cent tour here. So if you got questions, I'd be happy to answer. Questions for staff? So this is in the realm of a technical assistance grant? Exactly. We would hire a consultant that would come in and, and work with, uh, with us in the community to develop this plan. But isn't, I, I talked, uh, because of what you sent out, I got some feedback from people in the airport and one of the things they said you need to you know talk to one of the people at Department of Aviation, Oregon Department of Aviation. So I did I called up talked to the guy that's in charge of our airport, uh, Matt Moss, I think is his name. And at that time he said, well as far as I know there's only two issues. One is the wetlands, the other one is the high cost of the property. Apparently the guy that owns it wants a lot of money, much more than at least this person said. Seems reasonable. Um, and then they, he mentioned that they're going to start a uh, master plan for the airport, and they wanted to have some people, and you'd be one of the people on that. And then they were talking about having some people from the airport, among others. Among others, he asked if I'd be on it. I said I talked to the president of the city council. I'm glad we did that. Um, but so it, we got. Do we have two things going on at the same time that are going to be? I, I think they're. I think they. So I, I actually walked around the airport on last Tuesday uh, with, with the, the, the consultants for the master planning process just to, to meet them and, and you know, get them in the area. Um, and I talked to them a little bit about this issue. They, they essentially said, 
you know, we're interested in sort of potential through the fence issues and those types of things, but we're really not looking, you know, specifically at, hey, what could be done on this property? We're just gonna, you know, if somebody comes in, comes and says, hey, this is what's gonna be happening on this property, we think, then they'll include that in master planning as far as, you know, the, the look forward, but they're not gonna, as part of this process, go really beyond the sort of airport. As far as the master plan. Yes. Yeah. And that's why I think the timing is good to try to do this extra bit of work. That's a good idea. Additional question. So we'd be able to hopefully be able to get this done in time for them to finish their master plan and it all kind of dovetail together. I think so. That'd yeah. be great. Everybody okay? Somebody make a motion. I move to approve resolution 17-1464, authorizing city staff to apply for a grant from the LCBC. Motion, second by uh, Councilor Willis. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And the oh, motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we have other reports and information. I think, uh, were these just information reports? Uh, was there any oral presentation that you made, Mr. Klein? No, not for planned or scheduled. Thank you. Um, <coughs> we're going to keep moving. Uh, what I'm going to do next is call to order a uh, joint meeting of the Urban Renewal Agency. Is that how I do this here, Karen? I just declare? Okay. So I'm calling to order the Urban Renewal Agency for a joint meeting with the City Council. Let the record show that the uh, Urban Renewal uh, Board is here and present. So I'll do the executive session reading now. The Independent City Council and the Urban Renewal Agency will now meet in a joint executive session for the purpose of negotiating real property transactions pursuant to ORS 1926602E. Represent the news media yeah, and designated staff shall be allowed to attend the executive sessions. Represent the news media are specifically directed not to report any of the deliberations during the executive sessions except to state the general subjects of the sessions that previously announced. No decision will be made in executive session. This time, the council and the urban renewal agency will adjourn to the event center for the duration of the executive session. Once the executive session is adjourned, will return to open session in the council chambers. Action is anticipated to be taken after the executive session. So, folks, on that. Okay, so we're headed, as I understand, downstairs. Uh, let's let's move promptly, and uh, so we can move things along today. Okay, see you downstairs. <coughs> Okay, I'm calling back into session the, in the joint meeting of the Independent City Council and the Urban Renewal uh, 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 Agency. Mr. Klein. Uh, thank you, Mayor Councilor. Uh, uh, in front of you, you have an, a, 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 a second amendment to the uh, disposition and development agreement for the Independence Landing Project. Uh, the purpose of the, the uh, agreement in front of you is to change the uh, cash contribution from the city to reduce it from its current level of 744 and change to 550,000 change and change the timing of when that compensation is made from uh, rather than payments over time from proceeds from the hotel it will now be a cash payment at the certificate of occupancy issuance which is the date that the hotel will be made available for occupancy and for use uh, that uh, is a good savings to the city. We're interested in it, in uh, achieving that savings. It's also good. Uh, it helps the hotel uh, with uh, actually with its uh, performance. So that's in front of you as a bit of number two. It has been executed in anticipation of your agreement so that you uh, buy the president owner of Tokyo Properties, and that is quite on time. That was executed on the 22nd. So we're looking, hopefully, for a motion for you to. Uh, offer, authorized to do the same. Any additional questions for city manager? Hearing no additional questions, if someone would like to make a motion, I appreciate it. I would love to, and I want to say first that I really like saving 150000 Thank you. I move to approve the second amended, amendment to the development agreement with Tokola Properties. Second. I have a motion and a second by Councilor Tavis. Is there further discussion? I would want some authorization for the city manager to sign it as either part of this motion or as a follow-up motion. Can we include this? Yes, and, and I further authorize uh, on behalf of the council that the city manager sign this document. So, and I agree to that. Karen, you have that good? 
Does that meet your, uh, thank you. Uh, additional discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed, motion carries, thank you very much. Um, I don't believe I have anything else I need to do in the city council meeting, is that correct? Can we do council announcements for just a second? Yes. Very, very quickly. <laughs> Good. Uh, yes, and because if we're going to do council announcements, I want to congratulate uh, the uh, uh, the Ghost Walk for having 1,200 people attend. At least. People had a good time. People had a great time. I wanted to thank a couple of city staff members who participated last night in the uh, murder mystery dinner, which was a rousing success. Um, at the last minute, a Rubiel stepped in and took a role that Sean was doing, and the chief should have won an Oscar for his role last <laughs> night. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll have to get your uh, autograph because then we can say we knew you went. I have pictures. Oh, there you go. <laughs> if there are no more other announcements, uh, somebody adjourn the uh, city council meeting, please. Move to adjourn the adjourn city council meeting. All in favor, signify saying aye. 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 Opposed. We're now going to continue with the urban renewal uh, uh, meeting, and uh, we are in uh, uh, approval of the minutes. Okay. I think. Uh, yeah, yes. I just like to offer for a clarification of the minutes from the last uh, session's meeting. I made a motion after the executive session. Um, the contract that I mentioned in that motion, it was my belief and intent that that contract was in reference to uh, the second amended restrated promissory note. So, sorry for any confusion. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, are the minutes okay with the uh, uh, Motion here. Move to accept the minutes. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Mr. Klein. Uh, we are asking you for the original motion called for an execution agreement on September 20th. We're asking for a slight extension to tomorrow, I believe, is the, the date that we'd like to see that extended to. Uh, we, are, we have reached agreement on the terms that the council had uh, offered and, and have actually have cash in hand. So with your, uh, with a motion from the council, we would, or excuse me, with a permanent legacy, we would like to proceed with uh, that agreement. Did you need to say uh, which agreement we're talking about? I'm sorry, for the extension by one, you know, one year for the, uh, uh, the for the Canico property uh, at 9% interest with a little bit of one year. Right. Um, I move to accept Mr. Lin's offer of payment for $100,000 upon full execution of the second amended and restated promissory note and the second amended amendment to the deed of trust, with the due, both with the due date of uh, September 20th, 2018, no later than September 27th, 27th of 2017. That's the motion, and I need a, a second. That's a second. Is there further discussion? I think everybody's okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Is there any other business we need to do at the Urban Renewal Agency? I don't think so. Move to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you, staff, for being here. Thank you, Gary, for being here.